Hey, it's Marvelo, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to answer a question that a lot of people have asked me, and that is, how do I find a job with body modifications? First off, I'd like to say that I don't think I'm the best person to ask this question to. I haven't had a, like, typical real job, like, blue collar in the workplace job since I was 18. I only had that job for three months, and I had no facial piercings back then. Since then I've been a student and a model and that's pretty much what I've done for money and now I'm uh, just kind of doing what I can while coping with chronic illness so I wouldn't even be considered an able-bodied person that can have a job and fend for themselves anymore like until my Crohn's is better and I can do that. So. It's not a huge worry for me in my life. That being said, I do know that depending on where you live, that's going to be a huge factor into whether or not you're going to be able to find a job with body modifications, specifically facial piercings. I mean, I know a lot of places are getting to be a little more lax on tattoos, but visible tattoos on the forearms or anything that you will like, visible tattoos anywhere that won't be covered in a work uniform, such as like on your forearm, might be problematic. I don't know why I can never seem to- there we go, there's my tattoo. All of those things, depending on where you live, may make it more difficult to find a job, particularly if you live somewhere more conservative, where people aren't modified in general. I'm lucky enough to live in a pretty liberal place where the majority of people, I would say, have body modifications. I know way more people with tattoos than without them. Yeah. Where I live, you will see people with facial piercings working in a grocery store, typically not lip piercings, but nose piercings are very accepted. There are some more like hippie alternative health food stores around here that don't really have any restrictions for body modifications. The key to finding a job with body modifications is to find a place where there are people that are already modified working. That's where you should look for a job. Unfortunately, if you live somewhere where there aren't very many modified people, it will be more difficult. And that's what's really frustrating is it's an entirely incorrect stigma it, that piercings don't look professional. Um, then you sit. In fact, I used to hear that the reason lip piercings weren't really accepted in food services in particular is because they are unsanitary. That is something that I will never really understand. I don't understand how my lip piercings are going to be any way unsanitary to you while I'm prepping your food. My mouth, anyone without lip piercings mouths, shouldn't be coming near your food. My piercings shouldn't be touching your food, therefore it should be a non-issue. So unfortunately, because of all of these stereotypes about people with body modifications, it's becoming... Uh, it, it, it has been harder to find jobs. I think it's getting easier, at least where I am, but like I said, I live in a lot more liberal of a place than a lot of people do, but if change is happening here, I'd like to think that it means it's going to be coming in other places. I know locally it's very easy, in fact it's easier to get a job if you are modified at smoke shops. Um, I don't know why, there are just always really cute modified girls with like pretty colored hair and facial piercings and tattoos working at like the local head shops where you go to buy a bong. So a huge part of it, I guess, is going to be, is your body modification worth potentially relocating to somewhere where people are more accepting? Because it might be worth it. If you are a modified person and that is your lifestyle, it kind of does make sense for you to want to live somewhere where people are going to be accepting. <laughs> On the other hand, we need people with modifications to be getting jobs in all industries, to be going to school and to be showing people that modifications do not make you unprofessional and that modifications don't affect your work ethic or really in your job performance in any way. That is why if I were to get a job, I would not take out my facial piercings. I would not accept a job that required me to take out my piercings. I know a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people do take out their piercings for jobs and that is completely understandable. If your finances are more important to you than your facial piercings, that makes sense. I'm just one of those people that I think that we need to have some people 
maybe not everyone can do this, but we need some people to stand up against it and say, no, I'm not going to accept a job where I'm not allowed to be modified, so that we can start to show the world that modified people can be professional and modified people have nothing really to, you know, modified people aren't any different from anyone else. When you're getting a body modification, you need to understand that you are making a choice. That people might see you differently for these piercings in your face. I get weird, dirty looks from mothers, from older people, and yet kids seem to have a curiosity about me because maybe they've never seen someone with piercings in their face and they think it looks cool and they want to know more about it. You have to accept that that's the way the world is and that you may be missing out on certain job opportunities. You may have to gain more skills and be better educated for people to take you seriously with modifications, but we need more people to be getting educated and pursuing higher fields to show that modified people are just as capable and hardworking as anyone else. Also, if you want to be modified and you still need to find a job, it is good to look for other alternative niche communities within your community. Find a little indie coffee shop or find a head shop or, you know, somewhere that, a vape shop maybe, somewhere that employs alternative people. Find somewhere where they're selling to a group of people that is already a smaller niche because then they have limited options. You want to make sure that you are putting yourself in, you need to make sure you're finding alternative communities and that'll give you the best shot at employment, really. And with so many states now having marijuana-related jobs, whether it's at a medical marijuana dispensary or a legal marijuana dispensary or at a head shop or a smoke shop or whatever, those sorts of places are usually very lax and alternative and if you are interested in that lifestyle, that might be a good place to seek employment. And you shouldn't feel shamed or judged if you do choose to take your piercings out for a job. It is completely understandable to put your finances in front of being modified. That being said, I also think it's important for people to stand up and refuse to allow a corporation to change their physical appearance and how they express themselves. That's something that I just am not going to be comfortable with doing for myself ever. I don't want to sacrifice my self-expression for any sort of a job. And I know that is sort of a privileged perspective that I have because some people don't really have that option. And I am thankful that I am able to have people that take care of me when I am ill like this. <laughs> I guess that's another reason that I knew I could have facial piercings and whatnot. I used to be making money as a model and being modified wasn't an issue and I made enough money that I was totally happy with it. I made more money than I would have at a regular nine to five job or whatever. But now being ill, I'm lucky to have people that are able to financially provide for me while I'm trying to get better. And while I'm trying to get better, I can't really have a job anyways. So basically I'm not too worried about my appearance affecting my opportunities for employment. That may change in the future if I ever reach remission, but right now that just seems so impossible that it doesn't even cross my mind. Anyways, my dog is panting in my face and I think he needs some love, so that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can stay updated for the next time that I make a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you again soon.